everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Greetings, greetings. Greetings, greetings. Oops. Whoops. There we go. Alright, how do I sound? Hello. I don't know why. Oh, wait, there we go. For some reason, my audio thing is miss. Oh, wait, there it is. Never mind. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I like bump it up one more. Is that a little better? Hello. Test one, two. Test blue. Whoop, up, up. Is that a little better? Hello. Test one, two. Test blue. Whoop, up, up. Oh, yeah, it's a little better. I like that. Neat. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? All right. I'm testing to see if it's still doing it. Remember when it was doing that skipping thing last week? I'm trying to make sure it's not doing the skipping anymore. I don't think it is. It looks better. I'm very tired. Why are you tired? Is it from not sleeping or is it just from doing a lot of stuff? Oh, shit. Oh, I hate when it ports me here. Ah, jeez. <laughs> ah, jeez. I don't think it's doing the skipping thing. And if it is, it's like very tiny or like barely noticeable. It might just be a wow thing if that's the case. Uh. <laughs> You hauled rocks for eight hours? What? <laughs> for fun? <laughs> or, uh, for what? What up, everybody? Hello, hello. Let's go to the Valley of the Four Wings. I'm gonna use this seal to help my posture again, because my neck's been kind of wonky wild. Uh-oh. This is actually a good, uh, good strat. The, the seal kind of keeps me upward. <laughs> Posture seal. Posture seal. We actually had, uh, all the streams lined up for this week. We got tonight, just doing some chill wow mount farming. Tomorrow night, TFT launches on the main servers. And then... Thursday night, we have uh, Mario Strikers comes out. Yeah. Then I'm going to see if Jesse wants to watch Nick Cage on Saturday. I'm going to ask him now. Let's see. Do you want to watch uh, Nick Cage? What the shit's that movie called? Uh... Con Air on Saturday night. All right. Yeah, it's 25th anniversary yesterday. Perfect time. 25th anniversary for it was yesterday. All right. Uh oh. Gotta go back. Brenner, can you hint about CNC in Chicago thing in August? That's my B day month. Uh, probably not, because I think we have to wait and see if the 
place confirms our thing or not. And I don't know if they have yet. <laughs> uh, and I don't know if I'm even allowed to say anything. Jesse does all the talking with him. Listen, I just show up to everything. That's what I do. <laughs> I just show up. Jury duty, Jesse. This guy's got to spawn pretty soon, right? Alrighty. Thanks. Infinite burritos with the 27 months. Help me settle a debate with my friend. Chicago deep dish or tavern styled pizza? See, my opinion is that deep dish is good every once in a while. It's not something you get all the time. You get it when like people visit or you get it for like an event, like a Super Bowl or like a, I don't know, celebration thing. But that normal pizza is good for just like any other time. So I'm kind of just indifferent in terms of like determining which is better because I appreciate them both for different reasons. That's a very like morally gray answer. <laughs> Swing! They've been 27 months. We started making homemade thin crust pizzas. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Thanks. Pizza gives me heartburn too much. <laughs> <laughs> the tomato sauce, the cheese, it's just, it's heartburn city. So it's only a once in a while thing. Siru J with the six months. Sup, Krender? Speaking of wacky movies, I finally watched Divergent after hearing you and Jesse talk about them podcast ages ago. Yeah, that was ages ago. Wow. I honestly still get him confused with Maze Runner. <laughs> to be completely honest. One, two, five, six. Swing. They were the six months. Am I crazy or is Mario Strikers not going to have a mode where everyone controls one player? That would require Nintendo to, like, create an online system that allows, like, eight players in a lobby. They're not going to do that. Uh, and if they did, the it would just the game would just die. <laughs> uh, did I get here too late? Let's this thing spawn. Switch sports. I still don't trust them. Still don't trust him. Oh yeah, see if the WoW community link works. It should work. Worked last week. Well, I don't think you have to do 2v2s. You can do 1v1 where one person just control. You can just swap between all the players on your team. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do 1v1s where you control all four players. It does. Okay. Thanks. Quasi 963 months. Mario Tennis, Mario Gold. I take it you mean golf. Now Mario Football. All I need is Mario Baseball. Dude, I want Mario Baseball. I want Mario Basketball. One. <gasps> We're 20. Saddlebinder Lynx? 
That's not a mount. <laughs> That's not a mount. Well, it almost looked like a mount. It's like save the sixty-three months. I feel like Mario basketball would be really good. I think Mario baseball would be pretty solid. Mario golf, I feel like it just needed more. It felt like they kind of rushed it out. Um, and then Mario Tennis, I think, was pretty fun. I just haven't played it in a while. I wonder if this guy will be up, or if he'll pop up right when I get there. That's usually what happens. <laughs> Mario Freestyle Basketball. Oh, we got some rain. It's probably Jade Forest rain. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Mario Cross Country Track and Field. Didn't they have Mario Olympics? Wasn't that a thing? Or was it like Sonic and Mario at the Olympics? <laughs> I think it was that. Alright, up we go. Was it the 2020 Olympics? Okay, I gotta look this up. Sonic Mario Olympics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's got good ratings. So, I mean... <laughs> what is it? How did it even play? Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo Olympics. Okay, there's everybody. <laughs> Yo, what the? How did I not play this? I feel like this would be a fun game. Mario and Sonic at the Olympics returns with a fun family game. It's nice to see Mario and Sonic Olympic series back. Uh, duh, 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 duh. hold on. This person wrote like an essay. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Somebody else said this game was hardly entertaining compared to the previous. The story mode was beyond boring, almost 90% cutscenes with really boring events. The unlockable characters in this game are a single event. Back in 2012 on Wii, you unlocked a character, you could play them all in all events. The events were also boring, and the ones in the previous titles were actually worth purchasing, but everyone has their own opinion. That's not a mount. Alright. Might as well go do Mogushan. Uninspired storyline, fun mini games. People either give it like four or five stars or one star. <laughs> huh. Why does it have. I always. Like, why does it have so many good reviews and then so many just like this game's the worst reviews? I just don't understand. Are there. Are the people just like, yo, this game's like. I need to play it. Like, I, I have to play it. There's a there's an event you can do, you're just all swimming. I gotta play it. 
Um, let's see. Uh, Mogushan. And you get it on any difficulty, so I'm just gonna put this on normal. Hop on in. All right. That's true. It's like, if you look up reviews on anything, there'll be a review like, this restaurant has the nicest employees, it's my favorite place, they make great food, and I love it. And then somebody else will be like, this restaurant has the rudest people, the manager called me an idiot, and the food sucked, I got food poisoning. I'm just like, oh, okay. That was close. Whoa. The door mechanism seems to have activated with the demise of the guardians. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We may find within. Oh yeah, the people is like, yeah, the the waitress didn't bring me napkins, so uh two out of five. The food was absolutely amazing. Two out of five. Or the, they'll be like, you look for like a repair guy, they'll be like, I tried to contact the repair guy, and he didn't respond to my email, one star. Like, don't, <laughs> don't leave him a review because he didn't respond to an email. Like, that doesn't mean you're allowed to give a review. There should be different categories of review. You know what I mean? Or they'll like buy something and be like, this movie is one star, even though it's a really good movie, because I got the DVD and the disc was broken. It's like, well, this is not the last we have seen. All right, bang. The Zandalaring, ancient allies of the Mole. The Zandalaring. They must be the legendary weapon within the depths of the vault. Come on, charge. Okay, there we go. We need, we need 404 the captain, 62 months. The only review that matters is the Kren Sloth review. Thank you for the 62 months. Follow me. There we go. There she was. He's down. Save the 62 months. Oh yeah, shipping complaints, all that stuff. I hate it. Make separate categories. Or like be able to sort by category. Like this is a... Uh, this is a review for the actual shipping. This is a review for the product. This is a review for the actual move. Like you can categorize it or something. There's got to be a better way. Oh <laughs> yeah, though, like, I'd give this product negative stars if I could. I can't attack, I can't attack, I can't attack, I can't attack. Alright, alright, alright. I can't attack that target. It be dying time now. You know when he says that? And it says dying, like technically he's talking about like dying a color. Like changing his shirt color. He says dying. <laughs> he's just like, it'd be dying time now. He just starts dipping his shirt into a vat of like ink. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Yo, what up, Dev? This is gaming, kind of. I think it's gaming. <laughs> it's kind of gaming, just looking for mouse. Jesse said, hell yes. So it looks like Saturday we will be watching Con Air. Buckle up. Con Air. It is the history of Xi'an, of the endless shadow of the sorcerer. 
who kept the kingdoms in check through terror and darkness. Whoop. This looks to be the record of Kyung. Whoa, the cat going crazy. A great conqueror da, 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 da. ruled his vassals with an iron fist. What's up, for real? It is Mount Farm Day, and the servers aren't dying. <laughs> so that's wizard, good. Well known as a masterful archer Ooh. and genius thief, he stole from the rich and kept everything for himself. Offered nothing of this. Effort. What is this? Then the demand. What is this? According to these texts. Meng was the most abused the imperial throne. All right. Have they said when Wrath of the Lich King Classic's coming out yet? I need to figure out when I'm gonna hit 70 on my Burning Crusade character. <laughs> so I'm at like 67 and some percentage right now. No debate, okay. Alright, alright. That's fine. You have angered the Emperor. Whoop! Passage has opened beneath All right. the platform. This way. I feel like they gotta do the beta soon. Look at That's the or the alpha the beta or whatever. These dark halls have not seen footballs for I feel like it'll probably be It'll probably be the middle or end of summer for the beta or something. That sounds about right. Or alpha, beta, whichever one. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Alright. Down we go. Slow and steady. Man, I can't wait for Shadowlands to be over. <laughs> That's gonna be great. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Sprint on over. This room pulses with energy. Pulses. Feels unlike any we have seen so far. Fascinating. I have the tales of the tries on this one. 47. So we're almost at 50%. That's gotta be that means there's like a 50% drop rate right now. If my math checks out, this is like 50% drop rate. This seems to be so I'm gonna go ahead and roll a die. Alright, one, two, Let's three is no. A one. All right, so the, the this says we're not getting them out, so that's not good. No map. The die was right. The machine has the die was right. And so the Don't Orthren. <laughs> All right. These discs look familiar. To the fjord. Away. Oh, 
Speaking of Wrath of the Lich King. Wrath zones were so good. So good. Um, like, even if I just go back and look here. Howling Fjord, great. Dragon Blight. I thought Dragon Blight was okay, but that was back then. I might have a differing opinion if I do it again. Grizzly Hills. Gr <laughs> Grizzly Hills, great. Zoldrak, pretty good. I like Zoldrak. Storm Peaks, great. Ice Crown. Eh. I was a big fan of Ice Crown. Shoals are great. Borean Tundra. Honestly, I call it the Boring Tundra, but like, it was okay. It wasn't like terrible. Now this is the mount. If there's a mount that's gonna drop, it's this mount. Look alive, my brothers! Hundred percent. For the one that brings me their heads. It's got a one in seventy-five chance, so a higher percentage chance. And I've done this mount pretty much seventy-five times. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Oh my god, how did I not get here fast? Fire, 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 fire. There we go. Woo! DKs were revolutionary back then. There's a reason they're called Hero Class nowadays. Yeah, pretty much. I remember DKs coming out. That was pretty crazy. It was pretty crazy. Yo, it's kind of insane because, like, I started making WoW Machinima in Wrath of the Lich King, and now we've hit a point where I don't get a mount again. I'm at 63 out of 77. We're not we're not quite there yet. <laughs> Although I think I have done it more than this. That's fine. Um, to Draenor, where I couldn't even do this last week because it kept breaking. Um, what was I saying? DKs? Oh, yeah. In, uh, Wrath of the Lich King. That's when I started making WoW Machinima. And so now we've hit the point where the version of WoW that I started making WoW Machinima in is considered to be the classic version. So it's kind of like... It's like oddly, you know, I've become classic. <laughs> in a way. Uh, let's fall out down. Whee! There we go. Alright, let me swap this mythic. In we go. Dude, even talking to Sput, I remember Sput was like, Dude, I started playing WoW in Wrath of the Lich King. It was crazy. And I was like, you started playing Wrath? And he was like, yeah, dude. Sput's a zoomer, though, so I mean, it checks out. Any loot, and I always am like, Ooh, loot. There we go. 
I could re-release my videos as classic machinima. I still plan on remaking like one or two of my old WoW videos. I think that would be fun to do. Not like old one, but like old, old ones, you know what I'm saying? Remaster the shame wow video. Whoa! You will all burn. Yes! No mount. Let's go! Alright. Good start, good start. We haven't got a mount yet. Let's hit Argus. So we can remove the mana command. Hold on. There we go. Wee! Down we go. Here. Let's go over here. Scylla's up, it looks like. So let's go, uh, take out Priscilla. It seems she's been up the last couple times. Up to no good. <laughs> hey. I honestly don't know if she's up to no good or not. She just chills in this cave. Like, I don't know what she's doing. Is she, like, plotting something? Is she just living there and we're, like, invading, being like, hey, you're evil. I don't know. Not her. Leap, leap, leap. Ah, jeez. Oh my god, I'm getting roasted out here. What the shit? <laughs> How am I dying? Do I have, like, health potions? I don't think I do. I can't heal because I don't have victory rush. Well, it won't get active, so I'm like gaining experience. She's not even here! What am I doing? What the? Wait, what? Oh. Never mind, I guess, uh... <laughs> Nobody's active. Alright, never mind. Well... He, maybe the Houndmaster's up? I don't think he is, though. I gotta go check. Uh, usually it'll show his thing if he's up, so I don't actually think he's up. But I'm gonna check anyway, just to be sure. Just to be sure. Tasty meats! Uh, uh. What the? Oh, it's a tornado? He's not up. What is this? Is this tornado, like, always here, or is it moving? Oh, it zaps you, I see. Alright, well. I guess I'm gonna go to... Ooh, 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 
dragon place. Thanks. <laughs> Going to dragon place. The Omak, 13 months. Yo, Krendog, what's probably your most favorite cheap wine? Uh, how cheap we talking? Like, 20 bucks? Ten dollars? Uh... Hold on. I gotta check my... Wine app. Okay... My wines. Can I sort by... Price? Uh... I don't know if I can. I'll remember. Hold on. Yeah, I use the uh, Vivino... Or... Is that what it's called? Yeah, Vivino app. Uh, let's see. Let me check here. The one I was gonna mention... Uh, is... It's like $18, but it's called... 1,000 Stories. And it's got a buffalo on it. They have a Cabernet that's pretty good. I think that's like 25. And then they have a Zinfandel that's like 18 or something. But they make pretty good wine. Uh, let's look for a thousand stories. Uh, let's see. What else do I got here that I like? There was Sheep Thrills Red Blend. I bought it because there was sheep parachuting on it. It was $10 from Italy. It was all right. It was pretty good for 10 bucks. It wasn't too bad. Uh, what else did I have here? For uh, I don't think I had that one. I don't think I had that one. Some of these I just scan to see what they are, and I don't actually get them. Uh, I don't think I got that one. Uh, this other one's pretty good. It's called 14 Hands Cabernet. 14 Hands Cabernet. That one's pretty all right. It's only like $13. Uh, like that's about as cheap as I'm going. If you go cheaper than that, you're just buying grape juice with like sugar in it. <laughs> so like I would, I'd try to at least go for like a 15 minimum. Uh, unless you want grape juice, which knock yourself out. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I gotta go this way. Alright, there we go. Usually when I get wine, I do like around 20. And then if I'm feeling fancy, I go up to like 30 to 40. And if I'm feeling really fancy, I go up to like 50 to 75 for like special occasions. Uh, we like if somebody's visiting and I'm like, oh, let's get a fancy wine or something like that. You know what I mean? Like when uh, Jesse was here for the Cox and Crendor Live back in... Uh, when was that? December? We went to like a fancy Argentinian steakhouse place and then we split a bottle of wine that was like 110. Because Jesse was just like, get me one of your fancy wines. So it was a Malbec. Because Malbecs are usually, uh, Argentinian? Is it Merlot or Malbec? I think it's Malbec's Argentinian, right? It was one of the two, but I'm pretty sure it's Malbec. Uh, personally, I like Cabernet the most. I like very oaky, tannin-heavy, dry wine. That's my favorite. So I also like, uh... Uh, what's that one called? Syrah. Syrah is pretty dry. Hold on. 
Let's go. I like some red blends. Usually Malbec and Merlot are kind of in the middle. They're not like... So they got a little more uh, berry notes to them. Like blackberry. Just still good. Pinot Noir is like the lightest red wine. So if you want to try red wine and you're like, ah, but I don't really like red wine, Pinot Noir is probably the best red wine for you. I just skipped the boss. <laughs> Whee! Uh-oh. I prefer whites that are lighter or sparkling wine. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a big white wine person. If I do, I like really dry white wine that isn't sweet. Like, sweet white wine, I'm just like... Yeah. Sparkling wine's pretty good, too. Um... Although for New Year's, we did get a champagne, like an actual champagne. I've had three actual champagnes in my life. One was at Disneyland at a fancy place. Uh, one was for New Year's Eve, we bought a sparkling rosé, which was the uh, Brut Salmon. Brute salmon? It's spelled salmon. The brute salmon? <laughs> Just like a, a rosé champagne. It's very good. <laughs> uh, and then... There's another one. I think it was, Oh, it was at, uh... The place me and Nick went to. Alinea. At our fancy douche dinner. No, it wasn't the Blue Bayou. Although we did eat at the Blue Bayou. It was a uh, Napa Rose. Oh yeah, we did have it for Valentine's as well, that's right. So technically four times. It is fun to drink those things every once in a while, but like obviously if you're like... Unless you're like... <laughs> an athlete or like a celebrity or a Twitch streamer that streams and just chatting, you can't afford that. You can only afford it once in a while. <laughs> uh, alright, we dropping in. Hey, speaking of Nick, there he is. Thank you, Nick, for the 41 months. If you want to play TFT tomorrow, that's what I'll be playing. It's like, David, 41 months. I will just text you. All right, all right. Alrighty. The flow of darkness abates. It seems you truly are the heroes of legend. The only way to make it through this dungeon or raid is to just talk through it. <laughs> um, or watch something, I guess, while you're doing it. I can't do that. What other wines did I like? If you like if you like fancier, if you start getting up there a little bit in the, the higher price range. <laughs> um there's uh that's not a wine, that's me making sounds. Um, there's the one I had. Crossbarn's a pretty good one. I think that was like 35. It's a pretty solid one. Uh, is this one good? Not necessarily. I don't remember. I believe if I can't remember, it's probably not good. Uh... <laughs> what was the one? There's one that has a deer on it. I think it was... Oh, that was Stag's Leap. That's the one I brought up on Cox and Crendor. That one was like 50 bucks. 
but it had one of the highest ratings, so I was like, I gotta try this. And it was pretty good. Stag's Leap Artemis. Oh yeah, that's right, there's two of them. I think... Actually, yeah, one might be a little pricier. I don't remember which one. But yeah. You must not fail. The future of Azeroth hinges on your actions. Uh, oh, are we done talking about Azeroth? Nice, let's go! Uh-oh. Wait, that's the Wormrest base. Don't go there. Wee woo, wee woo. All right. Hold on. I'm trying to do this while looking at my thing. Uh. Um. All the prisoner wines are pretty good. Big fan of those. Some are pretty. Honestly, some of the more expensive prisoner wines are actually worse than the cheaper prisoner wines. Uh, Napa quilt. Nick likes the Napa quilt. Not Phantom Ray Kiri with the 21 months. They have the 21 months. Phantom Ray Kiri. Swipe. They've been 21 months. You can legally drink wine <laughs> with your sub age. You cross the door. Uh. Coward. Let's see. Is that all I got? I think so. Yo, I actually tried uh, Charles Woodson's wine. It was called Intercept. It was only 20 bucks, and it was pretty good. I bought it for the Packer playoff game uh, that they lost embarrassingly, but it was still pretty good. <laughs> I was like, yo, Packer playoff game, let's get this Charles Woodson wine. Maybe it's a bad omen. Maybe I shouldn't have got that wine. Not entirely unexpected. We will begin the ritual at once. The ritual will take much from us. It is required to make peace with our redeemer. We will be weakened to break it. Heroes. This burden. But yeah, I don't I only drink beer and wine. I feel like I have this discussion every two weeks. <laughs> it usually happens during WoW because there's so much downtime of the time of me like going through things. I only drink beer and wine. And occasionally I'll have something else, but usually not. Love me, uh, love me a good IPA. I've been trying to like whiskey lately and it's hard. I just tried two fancy whiskeys because, uh... One of our friends really likes whiskey, and he's like, you got to try this whiskey. So I tried it, and I was like, that's pretty good, but I don't want to drink whiskey all the time. Oh, wait, can I start? There we go. Uh, I don't think I've tried bourbon. If I have, it's been in, like, a mixed drink or something. Very optimistic about the Packers next year. I'm extremely optimistic. I think they're going to be great. I legit think they'll be good. Their defense and special teams are going to... The special team is going to get better. Defense is solid. Offense will be fine. They have a running game. They got Rodgers. They'll be good. And the division's pretty ass still. <laughs> I've been in the White Claws. I'm a basic white girl. <laughs> I like some of the white claws. It was a very painful process. 
Did you see Gordon Ramsay has his own, like, seltzer alcohol now? It's like Hell's Kitchen or Hell's, Hell's Seltzer or some shit. <laughs> uh, I tried Trader Joe's wines a while ago. Back when I didn't really know much about wine, that's when I tried Trader Joe's wine. Bourbon's too sweet? If bourbon's sweet, I'm not a big fan of sweet alcohol. Uh, yeah, he does. It's, uh... Hold on, let me take out one of these and I'll check. It's... Gordon Ramsay Art Seltzer. Yeah, it's called Hell's Seltzer. <laughs> and it's got terrible reviews. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's got some bad reviews. Thanks. Honestly, I should I should try some Trader Joe wine again to give it a review. Now that I'm like more well versed in wine. I'm out of Jendian with the twenty months. Thank you, Jendian, for the twenty months. What? Bourbon isn't sweet per se, but it's vanilla caramel. I kind of oh, so it's like that. Okay, I don't mind like vanilla. So it's mainly just the barrel they're putting it in. So it's got like vanilla notes. Of is it like oaky then? Well, I guess whiskey's kind of. I don't know. Curious. <laughs> Carrie Impish with the host raid. Thank you, Carrie Impish for the host raid. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Mere whelps. It's most of the most of with wine. Like the reason wine tastes the way it does is all from like the barrel. The grapes in the barrels. I've had a uh, I've had barrel aged beers. They're pretty good. I like them. I had a. Uh, the dragon's milk one or whatever. The hour of twilight is nigh. What's it called? The sun sets on your pitiful mortal existence. Uh, dragon's milk. I sense a great it was like a bourbon. Actually, I think it was a bourbon barrel aged stout or something like that. And I think it was kind of old, so it gave me a headache. <laughs> I was like, uh. Oh. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. It's the hour of twilight. Hour of twilight. Strength of the earth. Hear my call. Shield them in this Here we go. Do I have to do this raid ever again? I sure do. See you next week, everybody. Get me out of here. Please get out before the cinema cinematic thing starts. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's go hit up the fire lanes. I got a little crazy. I remember beer. I used to only drink like, well, I used to like never drink beer. And then I tried like Coors Light as my first beer and I was like, it's okay. And then I had Blue Moon and I like Blue Moon. Those were like good intro beers. Any light beer followed up by, like, Blue Moon. That's, like, how you get into beer. <laughs> and then, after a while, I started hitting the IPAs, and now I'm like, oh, yeah. Uh... I think last time I just flew over here, and it was actually faster, so I'm going to do that again. Oh, there it is. Hello, Tina. 
Some good IPAs. I like Zombie Dust. I like Dogfish Head 60 Minute IPA. I like, uh... Uh, I like that one I get. What's it called? Apex Predator. That's a good beer. Lagany is pretty good, yeah. Oh yeah, Sierra Nevada Hazy IPA is pretty good. There's some good Hazy IPAs. You don't like Lagunitas? I don't know, I think it's alright. It's a pretty good uh, stout type beer, or what's it called? I think it's a stout. Let me check. Oh, it's a Scottish ale. It's by Three Floyds called Robert the Bruce. Three Floyds is pretty good. They make a lot of good stuff. Bang, 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 bang. They make zombie dust, actually. All right. Let's head on in. Oh, yeah. I've seen the voodoo beer. I don't think I've had it, actually. I'm going to think of it. You should probably try it. Your arrogance will be purged in living flame. I haven't done any brewery tours, although that would be fun. That'd be a good, like, non-content video, too. Whoop. Whoop. Alright. Let's see if I can do this right and, like, fly on over again. Hopefully, otherwise I'll have to do the entire instance. That would be, uh... That'd be dumb. Why am I in combat? Oh, okay. Lakefront Brewery? Let's see. Oh, interesting. Okay, wait, is it this way? Alrighty. Come on, there we go. You got the egg pile. No eggs allowed here. We'll charge this. That explodes. Do this. And get ready. Whoop. What have we Alright. Yeah, I would not want to go to Vegas in the summer. <laughs> the feathers. Alright, there we go. Go loading up, loading up. Come on. 
Okay, there we go. Head on down. Quickly loot, quickly loot. We got 18 seconds. Plenty of time, plenty of time. Did I get a mount? I don't think I did. Uh, in fact, I definitely did not. We're hitting walls, hitting walls. We're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. Oh! Mama mia. We're good. It doesn't show up on my thing. It's always weird. Anyway. anyway. Water. 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 I'm out of range. All right. After this, we can start forming the old Mount Raid group. I don't know if Lego Man's here or not. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Alright. Listen, Victor, we're not battleship, and we're getting wow mounts. Yeah, I get wild mounts. No, Your time no is feet. Now. Your time is now. Beep, 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 beep. It's too far away. There we go. Here it is. That's not a mount. <laughs> That's not a mount at all. Get me out of here. Alright. Whatever. Alright. Time to sell. The amount of times I've sold my gear because I accidentally click a button it doesn't sell or something and I put the gear on and then sell my gear has happened too many times. But luckily this guy's only level 51 so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I could probably just get an add-on that also just sells everything, but whatever. Yo, isn't it about Midsummer Fire Festival time? Oh! Two weeks! Two weeks. And it is time. Mamma mia. Um, all right, do we got a group yet? It's the group form. Boing. Can you get a mount from that event? No, I don't think you can, but it's not about mounts. It's about the event. It's about the midsummer. It's about the fires. It's about the festivals. It's about running around all the zones, putting them out, lighting them, 
It's about the experience. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Oh, you're already in Hellfire? Alright, I mean, listen, Midsummer's number one. Brewfest is number two. I'll put... Thanks. I don't know if i put Hallow Hallow's Eve or Halloween or whatever at number three, or if I'd put Winter's Veil vale at number three. I don't know which one I'd put there. But the first two are solidified. Uh, of course I'm going to do an annual video. <laughs> Matchbox Master, 26 months. Thank you, Matchbox. I picked up WoW again and I need some mount suggestions to farm for. Um, Some really easy ones are the Northrend... Uh, the Northrend, uh, what do you call it? Howling Fjord. Dungeon 1, you can run that a bunch. Uh, you can go to... What's it called? Uh, Uldum. Uldum's got easy ones. You can do the Vortex pin Pinnacle. You can do Throne of Four Winds. Those are really easy. You can go do Anixia. You can just go do Anixia's Lair. That one's super easy to do. You just show up to kill Anixia and then hope you get a mount. Uh, yeah, if you go to Simple Armory, and you do what Vefriel just said, it literally just gives you a mount farming path, and you can determine which ones. That's what I did. That's how I got the path I currently do, is I just did that, and then over time, you just get more mounts. <laughs> Ashes is easy. Yeah, there's a lot of them that are, like, pretty easy to farm. Zulgarub. I forgot I used to do Zulgarub all the time. Oh, my God. That one you can run every day, too. Um, wait, where are we going? All right, uh, <laughs> just summon me. Everybody's like there already. You can do Invincible. Yeah, Ulduar is pretty easy. Raven Lord, yeah. That's some pretty easy ones. Why is it called Invincible if I can't see it? Or if I can see it? Uh, because it's only visible by certain people. That's why. It's kind of like how some people like cilantro and others think it tastes really bad. Uh, alright, let's rock and roll. Yeah, Utgard Pinnacle, that's what I meant to say. That's the one where I just said go to Hollingfjord. <laughs> Whoa. The final hour is at the final hour. The master comes. This is your purpose. By the way, pointless again. top ten bears. I've been saying it for a while. Is gonna be coming out this week. It's finally done being filmed it just needs my voiceover now so i just have to dedicate either tomorrow or the next day to doing the audio for it it's gonna be good stuff to the dark portal quickly champion he has no place left to run we will finish this let's go and save me his skull You'll have to wait and see. You gotta wait and see. <laughs> there hasn't been a pointless top 10 in a long time, honestly. Partially because the whole Blizzard thing happened, and then I didn't even... Wait, what? There's a bunch of stuff. But I'm excited. Pointless Top 10 is probably one of my favorite series. 
I actually think I did do mailboxes. Wait, did I... Did I even get loot? <laughs> did I even get loot? I don't think... I don't think I got loot. Alright, great. <laughs> oh wait, did it mail it? <laughs> uh, hold on. I have a mailbox thing. I'm an engineer. Uh, where's my mailbox? Alright, neat. I didn't get it. Okay, good. Get me out of here. that toy I have the Molly Northrend engineering is what gave me that mailbox creation ability that's why I mount farm on this character because they have engineering so they have literally wormholes to Argus to Draenor to Area 52 to Everlook to Northrend to Pandaria to Xandalar to Kul'Taras and then I got my reduce falling speed cloak from engineering and I got my mailbox from engineering and I got my speed belt thing from engineering and then I'm a warrior so I can just leap around and charge so it makes mount farming very easy <laughs> wormhole these nuts <laughs> Yep. There we go. Let's -a go. Oh, this is actually a pretty good loading screen. That's the Legion version. I think it wise to, I divide, think it wise to divide our efforts. I'll work to circumvent the tower's magical defenses. But, 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 but. Okay. Very rarely catch a stream live. Nice. You caught one live. Wahoo, wahoo. Boom, bop, bop, boom, bop, bop, boom, bop, bop. Alrighty. Uh, alright. Remember when I did that one video series where I tried to be like David Lynch and it failed miserably? Where I was like, I'm gonna do a mount run every day of Karazan, and then I didn't. Well, I did it for like five days or something. Then I stopped. <laughs> the weird part is David Lynch is still going. Good evening, if you go and, and check David Lynch, he's still doing the number of the day, and he's still doing the David Lynch weather report. It's actually impressive. 
Like, he's still going. <laughs> People thought it was just gonna be... A, like, you know, he did it for a while, and then that's it. Like, he's... He's still going. <laughs> I don't know how he's not bored of it. Like, the weather report, I'm like, alright. The weather report, it's like, he wakes up, maybe he just goes like, Hey, it's the weather. Here it is. Here's some words. Have a great day. I'm like, alright, I can see him doing the weather every day. But, like, doing the number of the day? Like, how far is he gonna go with the number of the day? Is he just gonna keep going forever? Sir Hippo with the 55 months. Thank you, Sir Hippo. What? I got charge in. They were the 55 months. Oh, he's repeated a lot of numbers. He's been doing this for years. Like, he's been doing this for multiple years at this point. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Bella, Maybe it's just me. like it is you. Come I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I thought it was an experiment at first. I was like, oh, he'll stop after a while. Once he like hits his thing, but like is I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> This is also the man that made a, a movie of him talking to a monkey at a train station or something. Alright. Here we go. The master hasn't been himself for quite some time. Perhaps a feast would frighten Perhaps a feast. <laughs> Perhaps a feast. Oh, gross. I feel funky. Oh, feeling you funky. You are a fortunate individual. Of course, I'll need a sample of your brain tissue. Feeling funky. David Lynch did also make the rabbits thing, yes. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, no mount. Wait, in what? Wait, what? Well, what? Oh, Bugar died. I see. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what happened? It's morb time. It's Morbius time, dude. Hello. Unbroken teeth. Safe travel. All right, where are we going next? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, that spider's pretty cool. Where's that? Oh, night hold. Okay. Like, uh, this expansion. I have like no desire to do the current. Shadowlands endgame stuff. Like with BF8, I actually enjoyed doing the Mechagon and the Najatar, although questionably Najatar. <laughs> but I like Mechagon a lot. This expansion, I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Rendor killed me with Burning Brain. I mean, I don't have an ability called Burning Brand, so I technically didn't kill you. 
Suramar's citizens must be told of the hey, Krender, why ask why you play LOL, not Dota? Uh, because I played League of Legends back in the day before I even played Dota. It's pretty much the main reason. Back during Wrath of the Lich King, my raid group I was with was, like, kind of chilling out after Ulduar, and then someone was like, yo, you guys ever play League of, League of Legends? It just got out of beta. And we were like, no. And I was like, what's that? And then he was like, oh, you gotta play. And then I played that. And that was that. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure it's just because I played it first. Maybe if I played Dota first, I would have played more Dota. Who knows? League's a lot simpler as well, there's no denying. You can surrender. The fact, I, like, I just love being able to surrender, I'm not gonna lie. When people are like, you don't surrender because the Dota match can go 10 years and you win. I'm like, I'd rather just give up and play again. Like, <laughs> it hits a point where I just honestly don't care. Aren't supposed to be here. Down we go. Yesterday in Dota, my team was losing 3453, and after an hour, we won. That's what I mean. Like, I'd rather just not play an hour, I'd rather give up than move on. <laughs> Plus with League, I already know everything. I already have everything. I don't even really play MOBAs, to be honest, anymore. I play more TFT than I played MOBAs. And now I just play normals with, like, Gmart occasionally. That's about it. <laughs> Like every time someone like JP or like Sam, they're like, yo, let's play Dota. I would just, it's like so much shit to learn. You have to like learn all the items. You have to learn all the map things. Like, oh, this is what this thing does. And you go here and you deny, and then you go to the trees and whatever the shit. And then there's like learning all the champions. There's learning like, there's just so much shit to learn and I just don't care. Like I'm just, I don't care about MOBAs that much. <laughs> Like, I, I used to care about MOBAs more and all that, but, like, it just raises your blood pressure. You just end up being mad. And if I'm going to do that, I'm just going to play League because I already know everything about it. You know what I mean? So at least when I lose in League, I know why I lost. I'm like, oh, I played like shit in mid lane that game. But if I play Dota, I don't know why I lost. I'll be like, oh. And then you got some guy being like, we'll use your activatables. And like, <laughs> that game has so many activatables that I would forget to use 100%. So yeah. <laughs> Your timelines end here. So now I'm at a point where like I'd rather just either play League with friends, play TFT, or play uh I am far less limited. That's really about it. As long as I'm in gold or whatever and I get my rewards, like I don't care. <laughs> Or, uh, I can just paint Warhammer. I'd rather just paint Warhammer, honestly. Time shifts again, and your doom draws near. This new TFT set's pretty fun. Like, I've played it on stream a few times, played it off stream a couple times. I like it. It's definitely one of their better sets. The only downside is you can have, you can have Chibi Yasuo now. 
And he has his custom win animation. That's really the main downside of this TFT set. And just the fact that Yasuo is one of my most hated champions in League of Legends in general. So the fact that they're just bringing him in the TFT and like giving him so much, like I just, it just proves my point that they'll like never make Yasuo bad because too many people are like, I love Yasuo. I'm like get this guy out of here. No more distractions. I have luck to do. Too many people were banning Yasuo, so we decided to create his brother as a champion and make him just as annoying in different ways. Oh, that's good. Surrender. <laughs> I may wait. How much Warhammer 3 do you play? Honestly, I don't even really play Warhammer 3. I'm waiting for them to do the old faction merger so that I can play Skaven again. Or Seraphon, Wizardmen. <laughs> Honestly, when I'm not playing video games on stream, I typically am just like going to the gym running errands, painting, building Warhammer, playing actual real-life games of Warhammer, and occasionally playing video games. Whoa! It depends. If there's like a really fun game that comes out, I'll play it off stream. But like otherwise, I just tend to play on stream. Wait, somebody got a mount? Vefriel got a mount. There it is. We got a mount. Live on stream. Big pog, dude. Big pog. Woo, woo, woo. It means two people have gotten mounts. That means my mount's right around the corner. It's got to mean that. <laughs> it's got to mean it. Uh, yeah, basically, I'm, like, actually having fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Where are we going next? Where are we going next? Where are we dropping? What are we dropping, boys? I've literally just been building, like, Skaven in real life in anticipation for the new book. I've been building Skaven. I've been painting Skaven. In fact, it's funny, because last year, I got into Skaven, and I built a bunch of Skaven and painted stuff. Or I didn't paint as much, but I built a bunch of Skaven to play the game. But now, it's another Skaven summer. I'm ready. And now that I have Nurgle, I can build good old Clan Pestilin, and then I can have, like, Nurgle plus Disease Rats, or I can have Disease Rats plus Nurgle. The world is my oyster. Uh... Da -da 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 all right. It's a hot rat summer, yep. <laughs> yeah, this is all Age of Sigmar. Old World's probably another, like, year or two away. Probably two. <laughs> I don't even think the Skaven infantry models are that bad. Everyone's like, the Skaven infantry. Well, like, I think clan rats are actually cool. I like Storm Vermin clan rats. Every, whenever they say they're talking about gutter runners, but gutter runners, you only play gutter runners if you're like a gutter loser. <laughs> Clan Eshin, more like Clan Loser. <laughs> um, 
Clan Pestilence number one, because disease. And, uh, you know, Nurgle rats, essentially. Master Clan. Uh, Clan Scryer's probably up there, because they got the wacky-ass shit. Clan Mulder's got, like, mutations and stuff. Like, Clan Eshens finishing last. I guess there's Clan Verminous. They're kind of... Yeah, they're okay. I have 80 clan rats. I actually have 100 clan rats. 20 of them aren't built. I'll build the last 20 if I determine that they're worth building after the new General's Handbook and the new book come out. Hey. What Skaven do need is they need models that aren't metal. Like, I legit thought they made a new Deathmaster, and I was like, oh, dude, sick. They're gonna do some more, like, old heroes. So they, like, Ikit Claw is the Warlock model, and I thought they were gonna do a a, a, a plastic Ikit Claw, but no, he's still metal. So I guess I gotta build the metal version, unless he's bad in the new book. <laughs> Wahoo. You know what Dreamer models are really underrated humans? <laughs> Destroy any foe who stands in your path and scour this field from our world. Uh back when I started Warhammer like three years ago, I used to go to the store, like my local game store, and then I met a good amount of people through doing that. And then after COVID, everything kind of went crazy. And then once things calmed down, those people were just like, we should just play at somebody's house. And then one of our friends was like, yo, I got a house. Thanks. He's got like two kids and a wife, but he's got a giant game room. So we just go there and then his kids run around and his wife yells at him. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Then we play like two V2s. Uh... Which I've learned, okay, so like from doing that, I've learned what kids watch on YouTube, and they watch like the weirdest shit. His kids were like flipping through, they were watching like, there's like some big blue YouTube monster guy walk around, be like, Bleh. and I was like, what the shit is this? And then there's like, essentially Jake Paul for kids, he's just like, what's up kids, we're going into a playhouse today, and I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> Uh, and then there was, like, these two kids that were, like, they were essentially acting like they were, like, old YouTubers, but they were, like, 12. They're just like, what's up, guys? Today we're gonna be checking out Matchbox Master 5000. I was like, okay. <laughs> but his kids were literally, his kids were, like, 7 and 5, and they were just, like, just, like, hypnotized by this shit. You're so old? I mean, I am pretty old at this point. In internet years, I'm like prehistoric. Every year in internet years is like three to five years. I'm like ancient. Why am I going this way? Uh, uh, so that no Age of Sigmar does struggle at refreshing old ranges, but they make a lot of cool new models, so... That's pretty neat. Ardrews, 29 months, save 29 months. Ardrews? It's like... Save the 29 months. Yes. And Z Trailer with the 87 months. It's been seven years, huh? That it has. Oh, wait, don't know there's 48. 60. Okay, 84. I guess it's been over seven years at this point. Wow, we. It's like, they have the 87 months. 
Yeah, we actually got a couple 90s in there. We got like three or four 100 monthers now. So that's pretty neat. That's how you know you're old. <laughs> I still love when like new people come in or even like that time Pluto was here. I remember Pluto was like, dude, you got like a 40 something monther? I was like, that's like baby talk. <laughs> 40 months. Uh, that was like the gallbladder era. I think I had a gallbladder at that point. Yeah, Tally's. I think Tally actually has the oldest subs, or he might be. He's like way up there. He's like top five in the oldest. And then uh, JP's pretty up there too. We will show the Legion there is no I think Day Nine. Can hide from annihilation. Day Nine might have the oldest. Does he? Oh, yeah, I think he does. I ate ramen with Day9 once. That may have been like, I think it was like nine years ago. <laughs> the Tide Stone will be ours! The Tide Stone will be ours. Yo, no mount. Sick. That really is my BC or AD, was gallbladder. There's BG and AG. Remember spicy foods before they hurt? Do I? Why do they stay? What makes them You know it. Good times. Twitch caps out at around eight years. It shouldn't cap out at around eight years. I think it's a well. Oh wait, you mean wait, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96. I think it's almost nine years. Oh yeah, badge wise, I hear you mean. <coughs> yeah. So right now my my eight year badge is the uh Whoops. That one, Valiant, the walrus. We cannot hold out long. Dude, look at that! 105 monthers. We will not fail you, prophet. Champions, we'll keep these <laughs> beasts occupied while 105 monthers right there. That is that's not even cheating. That's what they gave me. 105 months. I ain't cheating. I'm out of range. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even subbed to my channel at first. So technically I'm not my oldest sub, so it's kind of funny. Lugar's at 96. Dude, I saw the clip because Dodger linked it on Twitter of Tech Tone uh, talking to Sam and he didn't even realize Sam's married to Dodger. <laughs> it just reminded me of like people 
don't know about like the you know like the 90s basketball we were like that old school group they know but they don't know k9's tied with his oldest sub what's it at like 120 or something 115 on the northern front i'll keep their forces occupied so you can hit the priority targets our forces are moving 134 oh my god that's pretty wild. That is crazy. Tone trying to corrupt saying coming Genshin streamer. Don't do that to Sam. He'll actually spend like a shit ton of money. <laughs> he was something. I Pectone's a very, <laughs> very loud man. <laughs> I think he's funny though. All I know is he said his BO smelled like vanilla and steak. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what? Here we go, mount time, mount time, mount time. Two demons down. Two demons down. No mounts. Alright. That's alright. I'm gonna get I'm getting the the Antorus Burning Throne mount. That's why I haven't gotten any mounts yet, because we're getting the honker mount right here. That's why. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, the reason I do post gallbladder and pre gallbladder is because before the, the gallbladder, that was essentially my like, you know, my will keep them those were the years of like IKEA, co-optional TGS, uh, kind of weak, very weak, douchey door. But then post gallbladder, I became buff door. Go to the gym chilled out learned about the pains of life <laughs> the end is upon us Press on, my friends you call that i tire of that worm's babbling yeah, those, those, the gallbladder was my true, like, character development, which is why it's the defining moment. These souls are nearly ready to join Agrimar in the Master's service. Here we go. That, you know, age. Plus, after the gallbladder... That's when TB passed away too, so like, I literally had my gallbladder taken out, and then that was in February, and that May is when TB died. Then I had my toenail thing that summer, dude, that was just... That year sucked. <laughs> 2018. 2018, terrible year. <laughs> this 
the story get better in 2019? Yeah, in 2019 I got engaged. So that was better. Then in 2020. Technically, we got married in 2020. It was like the end of 2020, though. That was actually the best thing, being able to be like, oh man, I guess we'll have to have a small wedding where we don't invite anyone. That sure sucks. So we'll just have to save a bunch of money and not have a giant party. Oh man. <laughs> you may have withstood the flames, but you will not withstand my fury. There is no escape. The power of Tesseract will consume you. Snacks, 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 snacks. Your modicum of skill will be insufficient to oh, save it's you. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh wait, that's not the one. essence is free. He can stand beside his brethren once more. Our victories mean nothing. No long as our garrison has the I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. The monster demands your doom. Yo, when did PUBG come out? When was the PUBG era? That was like 2016, right? 2017? Okay, that's what I thought. No mount. No mount, no mount, no mount, no mount, no mount, no mount, no mount. I didn't even get an item, I got gold. Alright, well. Good mounts, everybody. At least this week we didn't have patch day server crashes, so that's nice. <laughs> so that's good. We did get a mount, technically, so that's good. We did get a mount. And the stream was smoother, that's true too, because I actually restarted my computer. <laughs> um, I remember the end of the year co-optional episode where you argued PUBG was the game of the year. I think I do remember that too. Dude, it, I still would argue that. For that year, like, that game did revolutionize gaming that year. Like, I don't even know if we have Fortnite. I don't even know if we have Fortnite without PUBG. Don't even know. We love Fortnite. We love Fortnite. <laughs> We, we might not have ever gotten Ninja Dancing in Times Square. What a, what a, <laughs> what a timeline that would have been. What a timeline. <laughs> yeah, Fortnite would have just been a tower defense game that came and went. It just would have been like, hey, here's the game. And everyone been like, ah, whatever. And then that was it. I, dude, I still remember that Fortnite tower defense. That was actually wild. Um, why are we here? Why, why are we? I'm just gonna heart that. Um, 
Oh, yeah, the H1Z1 streams were fun, too. Yeah, H1Z1 was a fun game. I do remember the Twitch Hearthstone meta. I also remember doing YouTube Hearthstone. I had some of my best YouTube months doing Hearthstone. And that was also when... Um, that was also when... I tried to do a Hearthstone beta key giveaway. And then I was like, I'll do a fun contest where people draw Microsoft Paint Hearthstone cards. And then I picked like three winners. Because they gave me three keys. And people were just like... You idiot, you didn't pick me. You're a... They were people just, like, yelling at me. And I was like, all right, I'm never doing giveaways again. Anytime you do a giveaway, people just get mad. They're just like, I didn't win the giveaway. It's like, it's free. You're getting mad because you didn't get a free thing. Like, get out of here. Pizza shit. Uh, I do remember when Vine was a thing, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, those were the those first couple years of Hearthstone. Those were like prime Hearthstone. Now even just if you go to the Hearthstone, it's just people playing Battlegrounds for the most part, which is also kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's why people do giveaways, and they're like, "Yo, dude, I got so many followers from a giveaway." It's like, yeah, but they're not. They don't actually care. They're just there to get the thing, and then if they don't get it, they'll get mad and leave, or they'll be whatever. Like they're never gonna watch you again. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for today's WoW mounts. Didn't get any mounts. Vefriel got a mount, though, so that's good. Someone got a mount. Um, so thanks for watching. If you're new here, click the follow button. Follow along. Be alerted when I go live, unless Twitch is broken, which it might be. Uh, I did play Diablo Immortal. It's up on my Kren Clips channel, where I put all my Twitch clips from the stream. In fact, I'll link directly to it. If it loads, there we go. Uh, check it out, Kren Clips. I need a Kren Clips command, actually. There it is. Um, check it out, I played it. Promoting it? I'm not promoting, I'm not like, guys, go spend money on the Diablo Immortal. Check it out right now. Like, you have to play the game in order to form an opinion on it. You can't just say whatever. So, like, I played the game. It's, uh, it's, it's, honestly, it plays well. It feels like Diablo 3, but lower res. But, uh, you know, just the fact that you know you have to spend money in order to, like, do anything makes it feel, like, soulless. And so, I have, uh, I have no intention of going back. <laughs> I would much rather just play more Diablo 3, to be honest. Um... So yeah, that's uh, that's how I felt playing that. <laughs> uh, either way, I have other things on the Kren Clips channel. If you missed the, uh, if you missed me playing Mario Strikers, that's up there as well. One of the matches is up there, and uh, yeah. So thanks to everybody who subscribed, resubscribed, dropped bits, dropped bits, gifted subs. Thank you very much for all the support. And I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be playing uh, TFT because the new TFT set comes out. That should be fun. Okay. Okay. See ya. I timed it with the music, so it was like perfect ending. Get that. Let's see.